Hey guys, what's going on? James here and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a store that is absolutely killing it with personalized movie posters. Now, whenever you hear that, you might have thought instantly what I thought when I first seen an ad for this brand is these are definitely most likely infringing on some form of copyright. But then I looked a little bit further into their designs and I think I know how they're kind of getting around that. However, this video, not legal advice. I don't advise going out there and doing the exact same thing. If you are going to do something similar to this, definitely seek out some form of copyright IP lawyer to you know give you some advice on these situations. However, I thought that this brand was so, so cool. We're gonna take a look at it. This is just another way that personalization absolutely crushes it. These guys have you know come up with a really original idea that is fun it's perfect for example valentine's coming up in the next two weeks here three weeks nearly uh and this is the perfect kind of niche to be in so if you can come up with these cool ideas you can make a lot of money so let's go ahead take a look at this store and see exactly what they're doing if you do enjoy the video go ahead hit that thumbs up button it helps an absolute ton here on the channel hit subscribe if you're new here and let's go and see what these guys are selling. So right here, we can see that this store is called yourfilmposter.com. They've got a really cool store here. It's, you know, fairly simply laid out. And as we scroll down, uh, even in this big banner here, we'll see some of the posters that they've got. And I was reading these and I was like, one year in love, Miranda. And I think what I actually did is went and searched for one of these movies. Cause I just thought that on this store, these were the real movies, right? But I don't think they are. And again, I'm not even sure if the photos in the background are from the actual movie. So I'm assuming that this Sweet Dreams one here, uh, Ever After it's actually called, I'm assuming that this is some form of play on like a Disney movie and that castle in the background is meant to be a Disney castle. But again, I'm not 100% sure. But I think they're skirting around the whole copyright thing by one, these are not real movies. The names of these aren't real movies. The people in them are, you know, the personalized person. So obviously if you buy this Our Journey uh, photo right here, you'd maybe send in like a wedding photo or a photo similar to the one they've got there. And they will put your head or your body, your faces on that poster. And it looks really, really cool. It looks really, really professional. And the beauty of this is these are movie posters, right? And in this niche, obviously having a poster is kind of more likely and better than having a canvas or a print, which is generally more expensive than the materials for a poster. So I'm gonna show you the insane margins that these guys are getting where you can get posters as a print on demand seller as well here in a minute. But these guys are getting huge, huge margins on these. So let's click into one of them and see exactly how it works on their website. So I'm gonna go into this one, one year in love right here. I think you can actually customize this however you want. You know, you can put whatever you want as the movie title and that's why it's actually so like, you know, personalized, right? So you can see here, this is obviously the photo that the people sent in and then they've went ahead. They use a team probably of Photoshop, uh, kind of designers, graphic designers. You can find them on places like Upwork or places like onlinejobs.ph to come in and build a team around that and do designs like this. So right here, one year in love, they've just kind of put that over the top of the design. So obviously here, you can order framed or no framed posters. We're gonna be looking specifically at the no framed version here for this video and they offer a 12 by 18 uh, inch print and also a 24 by 36 inch print. And the prices on these, right, at 41 pounds, that's about probably if we do a conversion in around $60, probably about $55. That's $56 right here. So it's pretty expensive print. So how much does that actually cost for them to fulfill? Well, if they're printing them themselves, they're gonna be getting them much cheaper than this. However, if they're going ahead and using a print on demand provider, such as Printify over here, we can get these a 12 by 18 inch print for $7.46 and they're selling that for $56. So they've nearly got a $50 margin on this product. Obviously they're hiring a team here. So there's probably about $5 per poster uh, that they're paying some designer to do this, maybe even $3 or $2, depending on where they're hiring. But there's obviously a little bit of, you know, kind of uh, cost in your product right there for the design because it is quite a complex design. But 746, they're getting, that's at $10, $12, 50, all in for the poster and the design and they're selling it for 56. What is that? That's $44, $43.50 in pure margin that they can pump Facebook ads to. And then you can see here on the 24 by 36, it's $13.43. Obviously it doesn't cost any more to design a bigger one. So if we look, the price of that is 50 pounds, which is about 75, maybe $70 or so. So again, just huge, huge margins 
on these posters. So we can go ahead here, click get started and start uploading everything that we want. So we can upload a photo right here that we can add to the poster. Then we can change the title. So we can change this to let's say uh, Ecom Insiders. It looks like we can't see a preview, which is is not great. They could definitely use obviously an app such as TM Blue to use to you know kind of give us previews here on the web. Uh, we've got the tagline, so that's each section here. So they've done this well, where they're highlighting what each part is. This is something that I've had trouble with in the past, where people didn't really know whenever they were entering in information what that corresponded to on the actual drawing. So we had to fix that by doing something similar to this, where we highlighted uh, the exact part off that poster or that print that was being changed when they were editing. So then they've got names up here. So you can add like the directors or who directed the movie, right? So I think this is a really cool store. Obviously right there, that's a pretty simple process that you go through to create these. We can see some of the other designs right here. And these guys also offered, so they offered framed versions and they offer uh, different color frames. And they also, I believe, offer ones that like hang on your wall. So obviously they're gonna be a little bit more expensive in here at 104 pounds. They're obviously doing that to go ahead and increase their average order value. You can also do digital print files. This looks pretty cheap right here. But we can see here they have 176 reviews on looks and you can see some of these They actually look really really nice it looks like a lot of people uh, end up ordering the framed versions right here this one they're quite small you know the the small version the 12 by 18 quite small uh, but you can see a lot of these reviews are coming in in 2021 we've some back here from 2020 but it looks like these guys only really started mid 2020 with this store i'm also curious a little bit because they have 176 reviews right here with looks but if we come over to the reviews page it looks like they were initially trying to get reviews over on trustpilot so if we click on trustpilot the 432 reviews over here on trustpilot so they have even more reviews so i think looks is only recently added to the website unfortunately because the store is quite new and they're just building up traffic we can't look at any similar web stats in this so we're going to go ahead and use how many reviews i'm going to combine their trustpilot and looks reviews because people are probably not going to leave a review on both and that gives us around 600 reviews so far for this store so let's calculate roughly how much revenue these guys might be doing and then we'll take a little bit of a look at what sort of facebook ads they're running to this product so let's say they have 600 reviews and let's say one in five people leave a review on their store that means that they would get 600 100 times five equals 3000 orders that leaves us with about 3000 orders right here so then we times that by the average order value well again let's go and look at the prices that they're charging right here everything seems to be in around 41 pounds or so that equals 56 dollars but obviously that is the completely cheapest version and it just gets more expensive depending on what design you're going for and the size so i'm going to say their average order value is roughly about 75 dollars right here so let's times that by 75 and that'll give us the total revenue that this store has done $225,000. And that is a complete estimate. I think as well, when you're using Trustpilot, you're probably going to get less people leaving reviews over on Trustpilot than you might on your actual website. So I'd say again, that one in five is very conservative. It's probably more like one in 10. So this revenue could be 100% higher than we're estimating here and gives us just confirmation that the store is actually doing well. It's actually doing really good. So let's take a look at some of the Facebook ads that they're running right here. This is actually how I find them over on Facebook. So we've got a lot of ads running for them. They seem to be doing best with this one right here. This seems like their most popular ad so far, but it looks like they get a lot of shares on these posts. Their share to actual like ratio is usually really, really high. For example, on this best one, over 1000 shares, but it only has 2000 likes on it. And I think this one worked so well compared to a lot of the other ones because of that bright, bright design right here on uh this picture compared to these other ones are quite dark you can't really see it as well this one just pops on your feed it just looks really really good so let's click play on one of these videos and see exactly what it's all about so we can see here it's a little baby going up and looking at his that's pretty cool right here we got a little granny here she absolutely loves it this guy loves it the battlefield one so it's just people opening their designs and you've heard me say a hundred times i think that's one of the best forms of ad creative that you can possibly use for a personalized print on demand store. Generally, when someone opens up something like this, if you have a really good design, a really good concept, you want people to, when they open that product up, to be amazed, to be shocked, to be like excited about the product. And if you can get your customers to fill in that and send it in, that's really, really good advertising that you can use if you get your customer's permission to use it. So you can scroll down. It looks like there's just a lot of the same ads. They don't seem to run any image ads on this. Uh, I think that maybe should i think that would be a good opportunity for them I suppose this one up here is uh an image ad we've got this one your film poster 
really really cool store i thought this was amazing we've got over here as well we can see some of the other ones again 2000 likes on this one and some of them just aren't really doing that well again i do think that this one outperformed all of these other ads simply because of that thumbnail there on the product so really really cool store really really big margins and this is the sort of margins that you can make in personalized print on demand um so yeah if you thought that this store was cool hit that like button if you want to learn more about personalization and want to do it yourself check out the course down below subscribe if you're new here and hopefully on friday depending how it goes i have a pretty cool video concept in the works i don't want to promise anything uh, it depends how it goes over the next two days but i'm running a little experiment i think it should be a fun video if it works out it might not but stay tuned for that if it does and yeah check out some of these other videos here on the screen and i'm going back to watching amc stock and gme stock if you're in any of those right now it's absolutely insane what's going on uh so i've kind of been spending a lot of time doing that over the past couple of days but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this one see you in the next one